Here we got a 1960 Corvette. Yeah, dual headlights and all that. Um, this is the last year, like 61 and 62, that came out with the, the different rear end on this. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, should have a probably a 283 or something, I believe. So, let's just say, yeah, it, it should be 283, two four barrels. That's going to be probably around uh, at least one horsepower per cubic inch, probably. 283 horsepower, something like that. It's got the original, huh? 270. 270. Okay, good to go. 270. 270 horse. Um, it's kind of guessing. Two four barrels. You get you get a lot out of those 283s. You rev them up. You realize your horsepower. Um, again, you got your tachometer out there in the middle, right under the uh, right by the steering wheel, and you got your mirror mount right up there on the dash, and uh, Again, you got your trunk here. Plenty of trunk space on these. The exhaust coming out from the bumpers. You notice how the bumpers are like sculpted like this. Then later, you know, they came out with a different back end. Like uh, in 61 to 62, they came out with the back end that looked like the uh, 63 to 67 style. And 63 to 67, they had the hideaway headlights up front. These are Radicals designs, and you got to remember that they were making these out of clay. There was no, uh, you know, there was like big draftsman engineer drawing them out on a big piece of paper on drafting boards and stuff and they're making them out of clay no cad cam computers or anything like that um and you know they're coming out with all these radical designs like changing not just the body styles and the interior styles and offering all different kinds of colors and chrome trim like what kind of cars today have all this chrome trim with two-tone and stuff and everything and look at all the detail on the inside here and today they would just make a straight piece of plastic going across here you got the grab handle you know like a, you know, a storage compartment right under the grab handle corvette right across here the red white and blue you can see the red on the top and the blue and silver like a red white and blue uh, you know the pods in uh by the instrument panel you know three spoke steering wheel with the holes in it and stuff everything the door panels with the brushed aluminum inserts you know, it's like, they, they, they couldn't, they try to make this car today with these lazy, because you know what they got today, they got a bunch of corporate yo-yos making big bucks on the top, and uh, they always had this problem before, but it's gotten more acutely worse. So, uh, you know, you know, they actually gave the workers the money, and the people that were designing the car the money, uh... We'd be having stuff like this even exponentially better, but so you know, the classic time is a time when uh, it was more, you know, in tune with what the people wanted versus an appliance. Today, a car is like an appliance. You know, before it was a work of art. Now, a few of the cars today are a work of art, but not most of them. 